guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today for our mixed media I'm going to do something a little bit different um, I'm making a greetings card so I've got a card base which is um, six and three quarter inches square um, and I've got a piece that I'm going to pop on top so this is mixed media paper um, and it's just slightly smaller I've, I've taped it around so I've got a little bit of an edge to it um, and it's going to be a anniversary card so it's a 10th anniversary and I'm going to sort of like try and make it a little bit more steampunky type of thing because um, it's for Andy so I've got this fabulous little doggy on there with his goggles on and I've printed off a little top hat which I think looks really cute um, I've got a tent which I've popped onto this sort of like book cover or spine of a book and I've just got some other bits and pieces I've also got a key which I'm not quite sure I might try and put that on there and sort of hang it off I'm not quite sure yet and I've got a few cogs and some little jump rings which um, I might stick on and paint over I will see I might try and do that first actually um, so what should I do I'm going to pop some gesso on the front I think just as a base because I want to pop a little bit of gesso and a little bit of colour so let's just pop just a bit of gesso down just like that not too much that will do and then what I'm going to do I'm going to just quickly dry that okay not quite dry but I'm going to add a little bit of colour I'm going to go in with just a tiny bit of our raw umber which I love just a bit down here like that let's just squidge that down just a little bit like that and then I've got some of this brush corduroy which is one of my favourite colours so let's just pop a little bit of this down we're not going to see too much of the middle bit because that will probably be covered up and I'm just loving this how it changes the colour let's pop a little bit more here Okay, so where shall we pop our little doggy? Shall we pop him? Oops, wrong way around. So if we pop him sort of there. Let's pop you. We need to see that 10. So that 10's got to be seen. I don't want to cover too much up. So let's pop. Let's try and work this out a little bit. So we're a little bit. A little bit organised, but then again, I quite like this on there. That looks nice, doesn't it? If I put these on, I will probably go over them with a little bit of gesso and then sort of ink them. So let's just put that on and then we'll do a little bit of a background. I might put that there. Don't need all of this, do we? So let's add a little bit of glue just to put this on. This can go down first. Like that. Should we put this piece over here? Stick on. Like that. What I do have, I've got my um, heavy body matte medium which I think I will probably stick these down with let's put this on should we just stick it down I'm not too worried about the bits coming out because I want it to sort of like look a bit rustic anyway I can stick on there just don't want the card to be too heavy not that it's going in the post or anything but I don't want it too heavy do we it's just I just don't like the silver on here 
So I want to sort of like cover that up. Do you think that will stick? Give it a little time, I'm sure it will stick. Oh, I know what, I'm going to just actually squash down a few of these little jump rings in there as well. Just like that, I think they will eventually stick. Just to give it a little bit of sort of texture. God, what a mess. There we go. Stick that in there. Sure, that won't eventually dry. Okay. Stick that on your stick down. Oh, can stick right inside. There we go. Let's see. What should I do with the lid? There we are. Right, I'm just going to quickly go over that with my heat gun. Perfect. A little bit of gesso. I think I'll have to do this with a brush. Let's just dab over the top. Like that. Perfect. A bit more heat. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to move these little bits out of the way because I'm actually going to see if I can spray this on top. Not that this. Oh, there we go. Oh, fabulous. Look at that. Shall I dry that or just wet it a little bit? Oops. Oh, I like that. Let's just drip that down there. Just add a little bit of. Oops. Just this is a little bit of the um, raw umber in there. And quickly dry that again. Perfect, lovely. Right, I'll leave that to just dry a little bit. What shall we do? I need to pop this on there. I'm gonna just actually, I think I might just stick that on. Let's get my little bit of glue. I don't want this to take too long, I don't want to overthink it. Just want to sort of stick them down. There we go. Perfect. So on our little fabulous doggy, which you can't really, I don't want him to go over that 10. But shall we have a little bit? Stick this down. Push that about a little bit, let's go a little bit lower. There we go. Hmm, don't know whether we really need anything else, do we? Quite like that as it is. Do we pop him down there? Lovely. That looks great, doesn't it? What I would like to do first is I want to make this just a little bit darker. So where's my lovely pos not Posca pen? Oopsie daisy. Balancing act I have there. Here we go. Let's just go in here.
Oh, I like this. That's really nice, isn't it? Tiny bit darker up here, I think. Oops, wrong one. Going in with my graphite pencil. Fabulous. I do like that. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of this. in a bit dark around this side do you think so it matches a little bit So if I'm going to see a little bit of this, that needs to be a little bit darker, doesn't it? Just behind him. There we go. Move a little bit. So I'm going to quickly dry that again. Now I'm going to stick our little doggy on. So there we go. Let's pop some glue on here. So this is just some matte medium on here. Where's it gonna go? Sort of there. Little hat. I want his hat going over the ten, so it's got to be about there, hasn't it? So let's just stick you a little bit lower. There we go. Got this little hat on. Little top hat. Quite funky, doesn't it? Make sure it's stuck down. Okay. A little darker in here. Oh, I love it. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got tiny, tiny little bit of gold. Actually, I've got some... Might just... Just take a little bit out. These smell really nice. These are Stamperia. Um, they're like the waxes, and they are really, really lovely. Just going to pop just a little bit on here. Just like that. A little bit of gold. Just on there. Oh, I think this looks really, really nice. That one's not quite stuck down, but it might when it dries a little bit better. 
it might stick down a bit. Perfect. I'm going to scrape this, pop it back in the jar. So there we go. Right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to quickly just give it another dry and then we'll take it off the background. Okay, lovely. Shall we take some of this off? See what she looks like. Or oh, he. There we go. Get these bits out of the way. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Look at me and my grubby fingers. Never mind. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? And this is where it's going to go on to. It's going to go on to this card like that. Oh, wow. That looks lovely, doesn't it? I'll do a few, a bit of a close up at the end so you can have a look. But I am loving that. So I'm going to leave it like that because I think that looks really, really good. So I hope Andy likes it. So it's got our 10 in it. So it's our 10th anniversary. And it's a bit of a sort of a manly steampunky one today. So um, there we go, guys. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Um, I hope you've had a really good weekend. And I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.